Hello, everybody. This is definitely a different type of video for my Dark Dungeon crowd, but I've been playing Metro Exodus. I finished it a, uh, maybe a week or two ago. Got it on Steam Summer Sale. Love this game. Totally recommend. And you can only have two guns at a time, plus your pneumatic gun. So the choice can actually be kind of hard. So I wanted to do a gun guide and explain what I did and why I don't think the other weapons are uh, very good. I played on, I think it's Ranger. It's not Ranger Hardcore. It's the, the second most difficult one. I'm probably going to replay the game on Ranger Hardcore, or whatever the hardest one is called, after. And then I might change my uh, recommendation after. A spoiler warning, just skip ahead, like... 20 seconds okay you've been warned i got i got the good ending like the good karma ending where i played a lot of it sneakily i didn't kill a lot of enemies i didn't get into a lot of uh high damage firefights so now i'm gonna go back to like normal stuff okay i hope i hope spoiler talks so, okay i played a lot of stealth so that can really explain why I uh, chose the guns I did. I, I played stealthily because I just, I just kind of felt like it. And I hate mutants. So with that in mind, my first gun that I use is the revolver and I use it as a sniper rifle. So this gun is, this build isn't really up for debate as a sniper rifle. Heavy stock is just the best statistically. It beats everything else. I, I kind of think wooden looks cooler, but whatever. Uh, long barrel is just the best sniper barrel. Four rec is cool. I hate the NV scope. Just hate it. And then the eight shot cylinder is the best. Eats, eats, eats them all. I don't use lasers. Um, I don't care. I ADS, so the lasers help me with hip fire, but I don't use hip fire. And I'm definitely going to hip firing with a fucking sniper rifle, so it doesn't help me. Now, second tier, sometimes I would totally sometimes switch this out. I would run. I could run reflex sight if I need close range. I could run reflex sight with suppressor if I need that. But I wouldn't run anything else. And starting into a mission, this is what I would run. Now my second gun is the Ashit. The Ashit is my oh shit weapon for when I need to deal with mutants. If mutants are on my ass and they're killing me, or there's like a demon, I use the Ashit. So with the Ashit, use heavy grip. Use double barrel. Sometimes use short barrel suppressor. If like, oh, I want a suppressor, I would use the T-Har. Or I would use the, the fucking pistol. More than my fucking shotgun. So, I use the uh, the close reflex sight. I love this sight. It's uh, It's got a little bit of zoom. More than the reflex. But probably like a 2x. This is a perfect sight. I wish all my guns had this. I love this sight. Um, I do use a laser here. I don't even really have to. I think it helps with my hip fire enough, and I do sometimes hip fire with this because it's a shotgun. So the Ashit, like I said before, is this is it does very very good damage. Let's compare it to the um, with the double barrel. Let's look at this rate of the E on rate of fire. It's like here, and it goes up way more. The other shotgun you could pick is the uh, the oh, where the fuck is it? the Shambler. So I use the Shambler. Kit the Shambler out with the long barrel. I don't think any... Uh, so, now I'm on the E of rate of fire, and I go up, and it's like two more. So the Shambler doesn't do as much damage as the Ashet does. Now, the Ashet is a fucking double barrel. So it's not like... Like, yeah, no shit, it's gonna do more. But I think, what doesn't die in two hits? What mutant do you, don't you kill in two, two hits? You're gonna kill... The, the dogs and two hits. You're gonna you can kill a demon in like three. So and you you actually reload quite quickly. So you can really uh, if you ADS and hit something, it will probably die in one hit. Like the the human the human animals, the the ghouls, the mutant uh, the mutant people, they'll die. People will die. Not heavies, but people will die. So as an oh shit weapon that I need to just run if like as as a safety as like my backup. The Ashit is the way to go because it's the best thing to just kill people. When I have when I have milliseconds to spare, I use the Ashit. Now, going on to here, we have the Tihar. The Tihar, we're gonna start with uh, heavy stock, obviously. Or then you know just, just go as best you can. You, I think you start with assault stock, you get sniper stock, you just use heavy stock. Not bad. Best. Uh, there's a fourth one that you get at the end of the mission of this 
of the final mission of the game. Spoiler talk, like 10 seconds. Okay. Uh, it's it's electric. I don't care. I didn't use it. Because for reasons that I'm about to get into. Spoiler talk's done. Okay, I hope this was good enough for spoiler talk. Sorry if I'm just kind of uh, guessing here at how well it works. I use the airtight. So, standard is obviously shit. Um, airtight's very good. Automatic, you get later in the game. And what it does is it auto it refills... So, the way this gun works is it's you shoot um, ball bearings at really, really high pressurized speeds. So, you imagine um, like 75% of a circle where... At, the 45 degree angles there are uh there are like cuts so on the left like 90 degrees there's yellow the top 90 degrees there's green on the right 90 degrees there's red which is overclocked and on the bottom there's nothing that's just like the way it is so if you've played metro you already know this but this is for other people who are just about to get into the game so what the uh what the automatic does is it gets you back up to green but I like it having it in red. When I'm in red, what I can do is I if I hit a headshot, especially against ghouls, which is what I love using this for, I insta-kill them. I insta-kill them when it's in red. So having it be in standard, I pump this thing up to red, and then it kind of falls down, so I don't get any red shots. With airtight, it stays in red, like, permanently. So I never have to worry about cranking this thing, because I use it. I use stealth. So I'm not, like, firing this thing up. As you fire it off, the air pressure goes down. So your 10th shot... Like, you'll, you'll fire the first two shots, they'll be golden. After that, they'll start getting really shitty. So I don't want to be doing that. Um, and the automatic only fills it up to green. But since I want it to be red anyway, it'll just fall back down to green. So I want to stay airtight. So I go airtight. Um, I go this. 6x is too much for me. I don't think I ever need... I'm going... I play stealth. I never need to snipe somebody from a 6x scope away. And if I do, and I need to kill them, I'll just use my 4x revolver. It's fine to me. Um... I use the, the 27 ball bearings. I don't know what capsules are, I'll be honest with you. Um, 9 is not enough in case you have an oh shit moment where you can't pull out your ash and you need to just spam. 9 is not enough. 18 could be enough. I do personally just, like, the 1 stability or 9 extra rounds. I just go 9 extra rounds. 1 stability doesn't mean much to me. Because I'm, I'm usually not oh shitting this so I can aim well enough and just get that headshot. 36 seems overkill. I don't think I'm oh shitting enough to where I need 36 fucking ball bearings. And by the time you fire 36, you have to your gun's out of your gun's not doing anything anyway because you don't you don't get 36 shots of good air pressurization. So 27 is probably already overkill, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. But this is just too much for me. Again, don't run a laser. So these are the three guns. If you just want three guns, that's what you use. The Ashet to oh shit kill mutants. And that's essentially it. The revolver is a sniper, and the T-Har. Because you have to use T-Har. Um, what do I think of the crossbow? You don't get the crossbow for very long. You know, just run heavy stock. Uh, I wouldn't even run. I guess you could run pneumatic bow system. I think I would just go for the highest shit. Reflex sight. High capacity magazine. 8 bolts, 6 bolts. This is definitely a stealth gun, so you don't even, maybe you don't even need 8. I don't know how often you'd be firing 8. But, like... This thing, the bullets to make this are a pain in the ass to do. Whereas the T-Har, it's like, what is it? Um, so one of one bolt is ten metal, whereas ten ball bearings are ten metal. So it's more action efficient to be using the T-Har, which is why I, I use the T-Har, and because you have the T-Har for most of the game. The T-Har one shots people anyway when you have it on high pressurization. So you just use the airtight. Now let's look at the other... So, next thing I want to talk about is when you're running around, your guns get dirty. And when they're dirty, they perform worse. So, and there's a lot of times when you run through water or you just, like, go and you're on the sand level and you get sand in your gun. So you always run around with one gun out. When you're not firing, run around with your ashet out. Because the Ashet is a shotgun, so who cares if the accuracy goes down? It doesn't matter, because it's a fucking shotgun and you're firing from 10 feet away. If your T-Har loses accuracy, that could be bad. 
if your revolver loses accuracy, that could be bad. But your shot, who fuck cares about your shotgun losing accuracy? No one. In the damage, it does so much damage from so close that you'll probably kill in one shot anyway, if not two shots. So getting your ash at dirty means nothing. And you don't have to worry about, like, you get clean it, obviously, but you don't have to really worry. And you run with one gun out, so you constantly get that dirty, and the other ones stay spick, span, clean for when you need to use them. So run with your Ashet out, or whatever, like, trashy gun that you don't care about getting dirty. That's also why I use the Ashet, because I don't care about it getting dirty. I don't want to use my Kalash, my Bulldog, and get that dirty. So let's look at the other guns, though. The other guns that I'm not using. Gatling gun? Best, best gun in the whole fucking game, hands down. No. Alright. Go in order. Bastard? Um, close range... SMG, I mean, I guess it's kind of easy. Just run. I would probably run like short standard barrel or heavy barrel. I want to get kills. Run this 30, 50 round. Don't know. I don't use this. I don't. The on such on high difficulties, the enemies do so much that like two shots or three shots will kill you. So going guns blazing will only really work on lower levels. So I don't use the bastard because it can't offer me anything. That other guns don't. It's not as good as a Kalash for damage. And it um it's not as good as a revolver for like picking people off. Or the Tihar for that matter. And it's not an oh I don't think it's really an oh shit weapon like the Ash it is. So it's it's not good enough for me. Shambler we've uh, I've already mentioned. It, it's not as good as an oh shit weapon as the Ash it, because it doesn't do as much. So you can do six rounds, but if those six rounds take as much as like two rounds to kill as the ash it does it's not as good it's just inferior i mean the, the the guns here's easy like heavy stock you know run long barrel you can run suppressor run this run the fucking thing like it's fine kalash is your early game rifle like same thing problem with the uh the shambler is i'm not getting in these long range engagements that much i'd probably run reflex 4x is okay on this i hate envy um there was a 60 round mag i never picked it up I'd probably only run 30, though. Two stability. Like, I'm not going to be... People die in, like, two to three hits, so I don't need 45 rounds. I, I'm not wasting 45 rounds at this point. I barely have, like, 70 rounds, you know what I mean? So 30 seems fine. Don't need anything else. I just go long barrel. I don't think one... Like, you get damage and accuracy over one stability, so just run that. You could run the suppressor. That's totally viable. I don't run the short barrel ever. Uh, and, you know, obviously, heavy stock and grip is the way to go. But again, the problem with the Kalash is that I don't, I'm don't. i not in a situation where I can afford to be taking shots from people because I'm just going to die, and it's not going to get me very far. So I don't want to be using a weapon that's essentially only good at that. If I want stealth, use the Tihar for one no shit. I, it's an okay oh shit weapon. If you hate the Ashit, this this could be your oh shit weapon. The better version of, the, of this is the Bulldog. The Bulldog is a straight better, does more damage. Run this, run heavy barrel, run that, run that, uh, that 30 round mag, and the, the Bulldog is just a better version of the Kalash, hands down. Um, so that's fine. If you want an oh shit weapon, I would use the Bulldog if you don't like the Ash it. But that's, a, that's really it. I don't think it offers much else utility because you're not really, it's on easy, obviously on lower difficulties, you can afford to be in gunfights all the time. But when a single med kit costs you 520 that's not very much or that is that's not very you don't have very much so that is a lot uh, uh it's that little backwards so you can't afford to be going in gunfights every single encounter you're gonna run out of all your stuff so i wouldn't i wouldn't really use uh, either of those weapons finally the valve i think the valves the valve isn't very good because you get it too late in the game to be uh make it really worthwhile so heavy, heavy stock um it's a sniper rifle it has to be a sniper rifle. So you go long barrel. I would go six X scope. Um, I would go. I would go the, the, the five round mag. Notably, there's a 15 round mag that makes it semi-auto. So I would maybe consider using reflex, and then I don't know, maybe like heavier standard barrel. But the problem with this is it takes its own fucking ammo. It takes a shit ton of ammo. It takes 25 five to find. You can find some, but not very much. So you can't get a lot of utility out of your valve. The other issue is, is the valve is a sniper rifle. Well, you know what else is my sniper rifle? The fucking revolver. The revolver is a sniper rifle, and it doesn't have really shitty ammo. That's an ashet. A revolver. And the revolver doesn't have ammo, 
The revolver, that's 12-6. 12-6 versus 25-5. Like, that's awful. I can't be using this. Like, what is this even? Cra it crafts like fucking one. <laughs> oh, it crafts five, sorry. It crafts five, but like, I don't, I don't think it's worth it to be using the, the valve. So, valve is an inferior version of both the revolver and the T-Harg, the, or the crossbow, because those are better long range. The Gatling is a meme. The, the, uh, the Kalash is the worst version of the Bulldog. But the, bull, the Bulldog is a worse version of the Ashet, because the Ashet is a better oh shit weapon. The Shambler is a worse version of the Ashet. And the Bastard is a worse version of the Kalash, which is a worse version of the Bulldog. So everything, the, like, the, the Ashet and the Revolver are on the top of the tier list. And everything kind of comes under them, because you don't need them. If you're on low difficulty, you know, you could run Bulldog, run Bulldog, and then run, like, Shambler. I'm sure that works, but I'm trying to play on... Like, Ranger and then Ranger Hardcore, where stealth is key. So, most of the time, I just use the T-Har. Because the T-Har, when it's full up, would just, like, keep it at max pump, at that max red. And then you can get one-shot headshots all the time. You could win this game with the T-Har. You probably, I probably will when I do Ranger Hardcore. Except for when I have fucking mutants and I can just shoot them with the Ashet. I don't use Evolver very much, but it's better than anything else. I guess one could argue that you use the bulldog as your next best weapon because you don't you need you don't need the revolver, so then you just have the bulldog for fun. But if I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna use it for fun, I guess I'll just mean with the Gatling gun at that point. Like, well, it doesn't it doesn't matter. So I think as I going back to what I said, we got sniper rifle. I'm mostly doing this for myself. We got sniper rifle revolver, the oh shit ash shit. And then the T-Har with the airtight. The airtight is what makes this gun very good. I hope this has been helpful. The gun selection here is uh, very, very interesting. And I love the customization. And I think it ought, there's many different play styles that aren't all entirely viable on higher difficulties. Which is kind of a shame. But I hope you found this alright. I'll see you around.